Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up blob storage. And so, if you remember uh, through the actual course, blob storage is like serverless storage, so you don't have to worry about um, running out of space or resizing your disk, so let's go to it. Um, at the top here, I want you to type in uh, blob storage, and you're gonna go to storage accounts. And this is where you end up creating all of your storage accounts. You can see that we have a couple of storage devices from the virtual machine, and when we created the um, serverless uh, the serverless function there. So go ahead and hit add. And what we're gonna do is choose exam pro or whatever you called yours when we were at the resource group st uh, step. And then we're gonna have a storage device. I'm gonna say my blob uh, storage. Oh, it has to be all lowercase, my blob storage. And that's already taken. So we'll say uh, <laughs> uh, exam pro blob storage. And it can't have hyphens. There we go. And so we're going to launch it in US East. We have the difference between standard and premium. I think we'll stick with standard. Uh, we have storage type V2 or V1 or blob storage. We want blob storage. Uh, we have some replication options here. Uh, I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, we have access here, hot or cool. We're just going to leave it hot. And we can just look at networking here for a moment. Uh, we're going to leave this alone. We're just going to advance in a moment. So nothing exciting there. We'll go back to basic. Hit review plus create. We'll have to wait for validation. We'll go ahead and now hit create. And then it should say deployment underway. We're waiting to see the say deployment complete. Uh, you might be getting into the rhythm of how creating services now. It's almost always the same process. And we'll just wait here till this is complete. Okay, great. So I just waited a minute there and now um, that's all set up. So let's go ahead and hit go to resource. And then we have a lot of stuff around here. Um, so what we want to do is we want to start uploading files, but I think we have to create a container first. So go all the way down here, left hand side and go to containers. Then we're going to create a new container. I'm going to call this Star Trek. It's going to be a private container, so it's only just for me. We'll hit create. And now we should be able to click into that container. All right, so now we, uh, now that we have that container, what we can do is go ahead and upload our first file. I just happen to have a file on my desktop here. So I'm just gonna go select that there and upload. Um, all the options by default are great here. We'll just hit upload. And there we go. So we just uploaded a file into our blob storage. Um, yeah, so that's all there really is to it. Um, so now that we're all done there, we can just go ahead and delete this container. So I think we'll just go back to storage accounts. Not sure if we have to delete the containers first. I guess we'll find out. And we'll just go here to blob storage. We'll go ahead and hit delete. And we'll hit yes. And we'll go to delete. And there you go. So we'll just go back to Microsoft Azure there, uh, back on our desktop. And I'll see you in the next follow along.